Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Optimus Frank. Um, I just want to do a little throwback now and just uh, review something I got over the weekend. I I wanted a Warpath, so um, here I have Transformers Universe Classics Generations Deluxe Warpath. And you know, I figure it's it's great to give them a look at them, especially before the new Warpath from um, Kingdom is coming out, or Earthrise. No, no, I gotta check it out again. But um, <clears throat> I know there is a new Warpath coming out and uh, I figured I'd pick this one up because hey I've always wanted a warpath I was gonna go with a minibot for the other minibot video I did but um you know what I just I looked at this one I was like yeah let's let's go for this one um so yeah uh, right off the back um the first thing that stands out to me to me are the words that say uh in a way it kind of looks like he's saying yeah or it's actually k490w but it ends in ow and then you have Zal there. It just reminds you of his dialogue back in the 80s when he'd go, yeah, wow, and all that. You know, it's kind of annoying, but, you know, it's it's funny that that's, that's what his personality was. You know, actually, uh, before this, I the last I've ever seen of um, Warpath was in Fall of Cybertron, where he's more of a, he's not a comic relief, he's more of a, a serious uh character with uh and he's huge he's a huge tank character and and uh i recommend if you don't haven't played the game you, you can i think you can play with his warpath and multiplayer too but it's a great game and it's a great version of warpath if only a toy came out of that if there's a toy out there let me know in the comments uh for fall of cybertron warpath but this is it I'll give you a closer look um I, I like how the gun points up it's articulate there or at least it has you can angle it um it's very easy to turn it's actually a very smooth turning uh, uh, tank on, or the, I guess the, the upper portion of the tank. Um, I like the detail here with the, the hatch here. It looks great. Um, he also comes with this little missile, which I've considered cutting off right there, but it does shoot there. Okay, good. So yeah, that shoots very well. So let me give you a closer look. Um, he has a really nice, um, uh, mold here. He has a nice paint job going too with like, a, a maroon red. He also has uh, these um, silver tank treads. You know, I'm so used to reviewing Siege uh, and Earthrise uh, that I'm I'm used to like, you know, gunky tank treads. So those are some pretty nice tank treads with some silver paint. Um, the There's also a, a hatch right under the, I guess, the, the top compartment that, you know, it looks like a hatch. Uh, some tanks do have a hatch down there below. I also like how uh, his side cannons are. Uh, that gray one that's a four barrel cannon you can adjust it any way you'd like up or down and once again there's that missile that shoots and they can both be attached up or down i think um because in his row up mode you tend to put it up in tank mode you want to put it down a little bit and you can even almost hide them down um if you want by pushing them all the way down i like how you can angle up that uh, that main barrel so let's get them transformed and the first thing it's pretty simple it's kind of cool too you just uh Bring this out, the legs, you pry them out, pull this out here like that. So what did I do? I just pry this out a little bit, then bring the wheel down. And do the same for the other, but actually, you know what? The first thing I should do is detach this here. Now that frees the legs up. So I'm going to detach them, work on the legs. Once again, I pull that out and I fold it in. And there are the legs right here. There's his knee cap, there's his foot. Do the same on the other side, pull it out, bring it down, hold it in. Then twist the kneecap, and you have this right here. You can stand. You can tuck this in while you're here. This little gray panel goes in, just like that. And uh, I'll show you what to do with that later. For the arms, that's pretty neat. Also, you have to kind of like uh, the Siege or Earthrise uh, arms with the, the Seekers, for example. That folds out. You can fold out the whole arm, and the fist comes down there. And he has this going on here. Also, same on this side. You open that panel, bring it down, bring out the fist, close it up, just like that. And uh, now that you have that together, his arms and legs are together, he does look like a go-bot here of sorts. Uh, but you, you want to make sure this is in. And as you do that, as you bring him back, these little arms fold back. See this little thing? This little frame comes up. And once that's up, you can bring this down and this little tab can go in here, snap it in. And then the best part, or you can move these guns up like that if you'd like. But the best part is pushing this gun in. When you push that in, his head pops up. So let me give you a closer look. 
Got the detail on his in his robot mode. He has some shoulders here. This actually reminds me of his shoulders. Remind me of my Brunt act, uh, my Brunt Deluxe figure. I don't know, just the shoulders. I mean, they're both similar in stature, and they both have those massive Popeye forearms. His head is on a swivel, not a ball joint. Um, he cannot twist at the waist. Uh, it's pretty stiff there because it's connected to that there. It's connected to this little tab and it keeps everything in place. Um, his arms can rotate at a 360. Um, his uh, bicep is on a swivel, uh, just about every part. He can bend his elbow at like a 90 degrees, like that. It does. It's not as smooth though. It kind of has to push in a little bit. So he can do that on each arm. His um, He has that thigh rotation, his knee, Bends at a 90 degree. He doesn't have any ankle tilt because he is a generation. He's a little older than Earth, Rise, and Siege. And um, yeah, that's it for his articulation. Um, he has these screws here in the back. And I'm sure um, that the Earth, Rise is just as nice. Uh, probably better. They, they avoid the screws and, and all of that. All those mechanics. <clears throat> he has a nice little Autobot sign there. Um, there are those words I like again. And he has a nice little paint job with these little holes here. I wonder why they're there. I'm not sure. I wonder if you attach anything there. Who knows? But um, yeah, he has some nice detail on the shoulders. Look like extra guns and stuff, or like some engine exhausts, of course. Perhaps, I mean. And uh, I do love his face. His face looks pretty good. It looks like a scary movie hockey mask type deal. You know, it's definitely way meaner looking than his G1 mask um, or head mold, you know. Uh, but I think all in all, they did a pretty good job with this spot. Now, let me just transform him. Um, just to wrap this review up, just bring it full circle, bring it back. So what you're going to do is you want to fold out these panels, which are really tight, really well, well done. So you just fold the arm in, then before you close it up, you fold the bicep, or you fold the forearm back in connection with the bicep, and you close it up right there. And there you go. Next side, open that panel, tuck the fist in, close the arm, and close that panel. And then the legs, you take it out like this, uh, you bring up the heel, bring the heel down, unfold it, Put the heel back in, and there you go. Same thing here. It's pretty satisfying, this transformation. So you could bring your legs together at this point. Now you're going to work on his upper torso. Bring that back, unfold this panel. And then when you fold him down, you want to take his whole torso and bend it down. So uh, his torso is going to bend like this, and that will extend these downwards, just like that. And there you are. Now you have a head and a cute little tank there. So what you want to do, the last thing to finish transformation, you pull this out, push the head back, and close the hatch. And there you go. This is the transformation. It's really neat. It's good to have one in your collection, just in the transformation alone, I think. Um, so yes, this is my review of um, Transformers Universe Classics Generations Deluxe Warpath. Um, and yeah, if you like the content on this channel, please drop a like, subscribe, and uh, ring that bell for future notifications of future content from this channel. Thanks again. I'm Optimus Frank. Take care until next time.